Hello everyone, welcome to, to a quick demo of the Fast Connect service. So let me jump to the console. We have been using the OCI console in several of our lecture series. So right here, if I click on the burger menu, I can see all the different services. And right here is networking. And networking has an extensive set of services available. So you can see a bunch of services we have used in other modules. So right now there is this link here on Fast Connect. So let me click on that. And as you can see here, there is no connection which is available right now. So it says create fast connect. And if I click on that, I get a choice of uh, two uh, choice between two different options. The first option is co-location uh, with Oracle or using a third party provider. And the second one is using an Oracle provider. So for the first one, basically it means that you are co-locating co with Oracle in a fast uh, connect location or you're using a third party provider, right? Uh, and if you click on that, you can see things like cross-connect groups, cross-connect, link aggregation groups, et cetera, et cetera. If you are interested in more details on how this works, uh, please check out our level 200 module uh, where we cover this and also we can go through, uh, uh, show you this uh, through our demo. For right now, I'm only interested in that Oracle provider uh, uh, option. So I click on that and it, it gives me a drop down, and I can see the different providers which are available, AT&T, CenturyLink, uh, digital reality, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, right? Uh, even Microsoft uh, Azure is here, so I could use Azure Express Route uh, if I want to connect uh, 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 to Azure environment, and I can have a circuit running between Azure and Oracle Cloud infrastructure. I'm going to pick Megaport uh, here because I have a demo with them, and uh, right now it's asking me for a name on my circuit. I'll say test is fine. I'm just trying to test out certain things, and then I get a choice between private virtual circuit and public virtual circuit. Private virtual circuit, as we saw on the slides, are advertised using RFC 1918 addresses. And uh, of course, you are reaching your VCN through a DRG. So it uses a DRG. In the case of public virtual circuit, you are using uh, uh, public IP addresses. For example, if you're using an object storage and there is no DRG which is which is required. So uh, once I, uh, I'm, I provide my option, I'm using private virtual circuit is fine. Uh, I have to choose a DRG. Now you would recall from the VPN Connect uh, demo that we had already created a DRG on which we created uh, an IPsec. Uh, uh, we we created a couple of IPsec tunnels uh, and we showed that demo in the in the VPN Connect. So right now I have the DRG created, so I'm I'm we'll just use that. If you don't have a DRG, uh, you you need to create one uh, for for this purpose, right? And then I need to choose my provision bandwidth. I'm going to choose one Gbps. Some providers would go one, two, three. Uh, Megaport supports one and ten, so I'm going to use one. And right now, I need to provide the customer BGP address. I already have it. I was doing this demo earlier, so I need this. If you don't have this information, you need to have the customer BGP uh, IP address uh, from your customer site. Right? And for Oracle, I would choose uh, an Oracle BGP uh, IP address as well. And then right here, uh, I would choose my customer BGP ASN. So this again, you would need this from your from your customers if you don't have one, right? So I provided the customer BGP IP, uh, Oracle BGP IP, uh, and then I have the customer BGP uh, ASN, um, autonomous system number, right? So 64556, this is the one I have. So I click create, and now my virtual circuit is created from the OCI console. And you can see here, it gives me a message saying your, uh, cons your connection is created in OCI. You need to copy this OSID and provide to the provider, give it to the provider to provision the virtual circuit from their end. When the BGP state changes to up, the virtual circuit is ready to test. So I'm just going to uh, copy it and then head over to Megaport. This is the Megaport uh, console we have. And you can see they have a bunch of uh, Megaport cloud routers, uh, which is a layer three uh, virtual routing instance provided and hosted by Megaport in locations worldwide, right? So I have a couple of these already running. We have been doing a bunch of these uh, demos. Uh, so I'm going to just pick one here and I'm going to create a connection. So let me just pick this one and create a connection here. So first thing it's asking me is what kind of connection I, I have, right? So it's a cloud connection, that's fine. And when I click on that, it's giving me a choice of different cloud providers. So I'm going to pick Oracle here and then I'm just going to paste my virtual circuit uh, ID, the one I got. And it's verifying the key just to make sure that you know that key is valid, et cetera, right? And now it gives me a choice of two ports. So there's a primary port in US East Ashburn region, uh, and there's a secondary port. 
Uh, and remember, in my OCI console, if I show you, I'm in the US East region. So right, I'm connecting, trying to connect from there. So uh, primary and secondary, uh, I could use both ports for redundancy. Uh, but for now, it's just a demo. So I'm just going to use my primary port. So I, I say, you know, Ashburn primary port is fine and click next. And now it's asking me to uh, provide a name for my connection and also give, give a speed. So it looks like 100 Mbps is a demo environment. I have that available. So I'll just pick that 100 Mbps. And right now it's asking me to add my uh, IP address here, right? So let me just provide the uh, IP address I was using for the customer BGP uh, IP slash 30 and I'll click add here. And right here, you can see that it's giving me options for static routing or BGP routing because I'm going to use BGP routing. So I'm going to use uh, this option, right? And peer IP in this case becomes my Oracle uh, 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 BGP IP address I have, 52. And then peer ASN is my Oracle ASN number, right? So I'll give 31898. And you can hover over these links. Uh, and you can see the the some of these values here, right? The BGP auth, I'm going to leave it blank. And then for my override MCR um, uh, ASN, this is the same as the customer um, uh, ASN number we had earlier, right? 64556. So I'll click add here. And then I'm going to click next and add this VXC virtual circuit, right? And as you can see here, this virtual circuit, I need to order and click order here. And now as I order this service, what Megaport is trying to do is to provision this virtual circuit uh, on my behalf uh, to, to my Oracle Cloud Infrastructure uh, uh, location I specified, right, US East uh, Ashburn region. And now it's deploying, and this would take a few minutes, typically it takes uh, anywhere from, from uh, you know, from five minutes to 15 minutes, sometimes even shorter than that. And you can see here it's in the process of deploying. As soon as it's deployed, this will turn to green. And when I come back to my console, I can see that my life cycle state would change, would change to provisioning. And my BGP state, if the BGP uh, information we have provided is consistent and correct, it would change from down to up. So let me just pause the video here. It's going to take a few minutes and I'll come back and I'll show you these things working uh, in, in action. All right, so that took uh, a few minutes. <clears throat> Let's come back to the Megaport portal. And as we can see here, we had these uh, Megaport, Megaport uh, cloud routers, and this is the circuit we just uh, provisioned, uh, demo FC, right? And if I come here, I can see some of the details, the BGP connection we added, uh, look at some of the details. Uh, BGP IP is, you know, service BGP is up, service status is, service status is up. Uh, I can see some of the logs. Uh, B, uh, says the virtual uh, circuit is up, BGP session is up, uh, and I can see some usage, billing, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, right. So if I go back to my uh, Oracle Cloud infrastructure uh, console now, uh, you can see that my lifecycle state is provisioned, and my BGP status is also up. It says BGP uh, is currently down. It it probably happened because I was refreshing the page, and uh, first the circuits get uh, circuit gets provisioned and then the BGP uh, gets uh, provisioned as well, right? The BGP status goes from down to up. So you can see here provisioned, uh, my state is up, right? So my fast connect is now, uh, circuit is now uh, up and running. Now I would definitely need to set up my CPE uh, and my network devices on premises, but this was a quick demo showing you how you could provision fast connect from the OCI console and using a third party provider like Megaport end to end the whole process takes 15 to 20 minutes. I had to pause the video in between. Uh, it takes literally, you know, five to 10 minutes, but the whole process takes 15 to 20 minutes, right? So this is how simple it is. I, I hope you found it useful and thank you for watching this demo. Thank you.